Hey everybody, it's Blue Ridge Rider. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about doing the service indicator reset on a BMW motorcycle using the GS911 Wi-Fi device. I hope you enjoy the video and find it helpful. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let's start with the instrument cluster. What you'll see is when I power up the instrument cluster, we get two service indicators that show up. The word service and this little wrench. But what you'll notice here in just a second is that the word service is going to roll off of the screen and we'll be left with just the wrench. Well, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a couple of things in the instrument cluster and then I'm going to reset it with the GS911. For this next section, I'm going to use the trip and info buttons to toggle my way through the instrument cluster settings. All right, let's cycle through my instrument panel here for a second and show you how I'm set up. So currently, I'm set up in what's called BC Basic. So if you look down here at the bottom of my screen where you see oil level, if I press the info button, we're going to go through a series of readings that I can get out of the bikes. So we get oil level, style, temperature, engine temperature, range, consumption one, consumption two, speed, tire pressure, date, and we're back to oil level. Now, we can change that from BC Basic to BC Advanced and see a lot more things, including some information about our service indicators. So I'm going to press the trip button, and when I do, you'll see I can cycle through three things. I've got setup, overall odometer reading, trip one, trip two. I'm going to go back to the setup menu. I'm going to press and hold the trip button. When I do, we're going to enter into the setup screen. Now, if I were to select info, I could change whether my GPS time is off or on. But instead, I'm going to press the trip button and cycle through my selections. So I've got the GPS time set up. I've got user mode set up. That's if you're setting your rider modes. I've got my clock set up, date, shift indicator, brightness, clock format, date and format, and then here's BC Basic, and if I press the info button now, we're at BC Pro. I said BC Advanced a second ago, but BC Pro. I'm going to press the trip button again to continue to cycle through the programming menu, reset, and exit. Now I'm going to press the info button to select exit, and now we are in BC Pro. Now if I cycle through using the info button, you're going to see we get a lot more information. So we get inf oil level, style, temperature, engine temperature, range, consumption one, consumption two, um, overall consumption, speed, tire pressure, voltage, uh, total time that the bike has been running, or I, actually I think that's uh, that the instrument cluster has been on, and then total ride time, which is actually when the engine is running, and then date, service one, which is a date which we can set. Mine has already expired. I did the service a couple of months ago. I'm just now getting around to making this video, so I let my service indicators stay on until I had a time to reset them under video. And then service two, which would be the number of miles to your next service, which again, mine's at zero because I've already been through several miles. So when I reset those, I'll just take into account the time and the miles that have already gone by since I serviced the bike. And then we're back to oil level. All right, with that in mind, let me show you how to do the service indicator reset. On my particular bike, that connector is located behind my battery cover. So let's take the battery cover off and then we're going to get to the connector. Now the connector has a little clip that holds it in place. And if we get behind that and push that clip, we can pull it out and have really easy access to the connector. So I'm going to try to take the cover off and get the plug out. This is a T25 Torx on my particular bike. So just one screw. I'm going to leave it. There we go. And then mine has two little pins. So the cover comes off. I'm just going to lay it over here out of the way. And then right here beside the battery is my connector. And behind that connector, if you look down in here, you can see a little plastic clip that holds the connector in place. So I'm going to push on that little connector and then the plug is going to slide up. So I'm going to just push that connector back a little bit with my Torx and then we've got our connector out. Now this little connector has a cover and we got to pull this cover off by pressing on this little button here and by pressing on this little button here. So I'm going to press those two buttons at the same time, hopefully, and then slide the cover off. Now I have found that it is uh, a bit cantankerous. 
So let's see if I can, a little back and forth here. There we go, I got one side loose and the other side. So there we go, there's our, in this case, an OBD2 connector. In order to do the service indicator reset, you have to have a couple of applications loaded up. So you have to have the GS911 utility and you have to have the GS911 Wi-Fi utility. You'll need to get the Wi-Fi utility configured for your Wi-Fi and then you need to open the GS911 app before connecting the GS911 to your bike. All right, here's my GS911. Mine happens to have the round 10 pin connector. They make one that has an OBD2 connector right on the device. Either device does the exact same thing and they have the exact same firmware updates. If you buy this one, you can buy a connector to convert it to the OBD2. If you buy the one with the OBD2, you can buy a connector to convert it to the 10 pin. Make sure if you buy the round and the connector that you buy the male adapter cable. Don't ask me how I know that. Connecting the GS911 to your bike is as simple as, in my case, having to slide in the 10 pin adapter, giving it a quarter twist, taking the OBD2 connector, connecting it to the bike, taking the USB cable supplied with the GS911, plug it into the GS911, And then in turn, plug the USB connection on the GS911 into your computer. Once you've done this, power up the bike. On the bottom of the GS911, you'll notice some LEDs. The first LED farthest to the left indicates power. It starts out blinking quickly and then slows down as the power is stabilized. The second LED is Wi-Fi. It should be glowing steady. And the third LED is for direct device to device connection. That would be used, for example, if you had a buddy that broke down on the side of the road and you wanted to connect to their bike to determine what fault was present on their bike. So once the app opens up, and identifies your bike, what you'll see is that it almost automatically comes to a perform auto scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, and I'm gonna perform the auto scan. It happens pretty quickly. Once it does this, this will give me a general overview of what's going on with the bike. And if I wanted, I could clear fault codes from this section, although it doesn't let me go a lot deeper. So here's my auto scan report. It shows up, lists my VIN number, the miles on my bike. And if I scroll down, you can see here's information on the engine controller. Here's information on tire pressure monitoring, indication on the ABS brakes, and the information on the active suspension, information on the keyless entry, information on the instrument cluster, and information on the body controller. Now, for whatever reason, again, I can't do a service indicator reset from here. I have to go over to this left-hand menu and select the R-Series bike. I have to scroll down till I find my particular bike, the R1200R. Mine's a 2017, so I'll select this. Once I do that, again, it pulls up the same information we saw on the summary page. So I can select the engine, and I can look at my ECU, for example. It'll show me lots of details of what's going on with the ECU. But for now, what I'm after is resetting the service indicators. So I come down here to special functions. I select that. You can see it says set motorcycle date, service reminder. I'm going to go to the service reminder. Once I come over here, you'll see that I have the ability to either just reset it for the next 365 days or 6,000 miles. And the software does allow you to change these. So if you want to go more miles or less miles or more days or less miles, you can do that. Or you can select a custom date and mileage. I'm going to go ahead for right now and select a custom date and mileage. And I'm going to look at when I actually did my last service, which was in August of 21. So I'm going to go ahead based on that, and I'm going to set it six months out, which would be February of 22. So I'm going to drop down here and select February 15th of 22. And I'm going to leave the miles right at the 24,000 because I actually did the service slightly under 
the 18,000 miles previously. So let me just go ahead and set that at 24,000. I'm going to apply that. And it looks like that's been accepted. Okay, before I check the instrument cluster, just to make sure everything is like it's supposed to be, I'm going to power my bike off. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug the GS911. And then we'll take a good hard look at the instrument panel. All right, well, let's take a look at the instrument cluster and see if we successfully reset the service indicators. All right, there we go. No wrench, no service word. I don't know about you, but the OCD and me is awful happy to see that. So real quickly, I'm gonna run through the instrument cluster. Earlier in the video, I made a couple of mistakes, and I'm hoping that one of these items, somebody watching this video, can help me clarify. And if you would, please leave a comment below if you know what this uh, stands for. So let me cycle through, and I'll tell you when we're there. So you can see we are at uh, range right now, oil level, style, temperature, engine temperature, range, consumption one, consumption two, average consumption, speed, tire pressure, voltage, T dot, T-O-T-T -T dot. I do not know what that is. I thought that was total runtime on the bike, but it apparently is not. And in fact, I don't remember seeing that number change since I've owned the bike. And then this next one, the T ride, I stated incorrectly as being when the engine's running, when actually that clock counts down anytime the instrument cluster is running. The other may be when engine time, but I don't, I don't think that's right. And date. Service one, so you can see there's our date we reset it to, the February 15th, 2022, and our miles right at 4,900 miles. And let's back at oil level. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of BC Pro and put it back in BC Basic by hitting the trip button, holding the trip button, cycling through with the trip button until I get to the BC section of the menu. I'm going to hit info, change that to BC Basic. Hit the button a couple more times so I get to exit. The trip button, that is. Hit the info button to come out, and we are reset. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Stay safe. Ride hard. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.